Team One. Breach, breach, breach. You're listening to Breach Your Mind. Hey guys, welcome back to Breach Your Mind. I hope you're doing well today. You know, often enough, many of us get busy with a lot of things in life. You know, I personally have a lot of different things that I do. You know, aside from my job and spending time with my family and things like that, I've got a bunch of little hobbies that I do. Uh, You may have heard Chris and I talking about them in the past. And it gets difficult sometimes figuring out how to balance those things. And we talked last episode about, about balance. And just like I was talking in that episode about how the podcast, you know, kind of got put on the back burner with everything else going on with the holidays and everything. It, it's like that with everything. You know, that's what we were discussing. And one of the listeners reached out and wanted to talk about making an effort. So making an effort in general, you know, not just in a specific thing or or a person, but making an effort in general. And so that's where we're going to go with this. Um, I think it fits in real well, especially coming after the episode last week in that when you're balancing out things, you're having to make an effort. So what's, what's making an effort? Well, making an effort, at least in my definition, would be putting your time and energy, maybe even your money or, or other resources that you have into something that you're focused on or at least you know dividing your efforts up amongst the different things like me with you know everything that i've got going on putting effort towards all of it you know i wasn't putting any effort towards the show therefore there was nothing coming out and you know i wasn't making the effort to do it go back even further and some of the earlier shows where I was talking about actually, you know, doing something, you know, had all these great ideas, but I wasn't doing anything with them. <clears throat> and it was because I wasn't putting effort towards them. I wasn't investing time. I wasn't investing energy or, or money, um, you know, or other resources into these different ideas that I had. Um, you know, a long time ago, I had a couple of, I'm not a real big car guy. I know enough to like change my oil and do a couple other little things. I call it being a shade tree mechanic. But I had these ideas for cars that, you know, I had these ideas when I was a teenager. It's been a little bit ago. And uh, <clears throat> I had these ideas, you know, in, in my mind, it was going to revolutionize, you know, the automotive industry. You know, obviously as a teenager, I didn't really know much. I say, obviously y'all don't know me or didn't know me then. But in my mind, these ideas were, were going to revolutionize the automotive industry. And I never did anything with it. I kind of sketched it out and, and looked into how to get a patent on something. But then I got bogged down with you know, well, I can't make what I was thinking about making. I don't know how to really design it. I can draw it out and tell somebody my idea, but then how does it not become their idea? And how do they not make, you know, I didn't know anything about it. So I left it in a sketchbook and nothing ever came of it until sometime years later, I'm watching TV and a commercial comes on. And one of the ideas I had was actually on one of the cars that was being advertised on TV, you know, and I I remember thinking, man, I had that idea years ago and they're just now doing this, you know, was it, was it something that somebody else had an idea on and they just finally did something, you know, did I miss out, you know, did I have a chance at, you know, finally being, you know, financially rich and, 
everything because you know I didn't do anything. Maybe, you know, I, I didn't make the effort for it. <clears throat> so, you know, like I said, a lot of decisions went into why I didn't make that effort, but I didn't make the effort. So that's what, that's what wound up happening. You know, I may have missed out on a chance because I had this idea that I didn't put any effort towards. I didn't put any time. I didn't put any energy. Um, well, I say I didn't put any energy, at minimal energy energy at best um teenage kid even though i was working at the time i didn't have money to pay for a patent or anything like that so plenty of reasons not to make an effort but had i made an effort you know what would what would things be like now so that's that's what i'm talking about when i say making an effort you know putting your time energy your resources towards accomplishing something or moving towards something you know if it's if it's a job if it's a hobby if it's just a goal in general um you know we talked last episode about my friends that they practice you know t periods of time where they're they're not using electronics in their home like their tvs and and things like that just so they can reconnect with their family they're they're putting that effort towards building that family unit or strengthening their family unit <clears throat> so that's you know them making the effort to make their family stronger so i know for you know many that may seem kind of a duh thing you know you may be you may have just heard that and was like yeah that who doesn't get what making an effort is but i've learned in in my time that just because something's easy for me to understand or something's easy for you to understand, doesn't mean it's un easy to understand for everyone. So it, you know, it, it bears giving a little brief definition of it. <clears throat> so in understanding what effort is, how do you know when you're putting out too much effort and getting very little reward. Um, I have a, a, a saying that I use, and I'm sure I'm not, you know, I'm sure it's been heard by plenty, but the juicing's not worth the squeeze or the juice isn't worth the squeeze. You know, you, you ever, if you've ever squeezed lemons or limes or oranges, to try to get juice out of them. And I'm not talking about these big fancy, you know, juicers that people have now. Talk about the old, you know, the old squish them down uh, juicers or the ones where you're sitting there grinding the, grinding the fruit on some object to get the juice out of it. It's a whole lot of work for a little bit of juice. You know, most times, like if you, you want a glass of orange juice, you're not gonna take one orange and get enough orange juice to get a full you know six eight ounces of juice out of it so you have to figure out whether the juice is worth the squeeze and that's that's what i i associate with putting too much effort towards something with very little reward now in saying that i will say that it depends on the purpose you know what's what's the goal for putting that effort you know if the goal is just to get a little bit of a reward out of it then obviously the juice is worth the squeeze on that if the goal say say you want to start a personal business and you're putting all these resources and 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 time and effort and money and all these things into starting your own personal business. You know, you want to be an entrepreneur. If you're if you're not getting anywhere with it, at what point do you decide that you've put too much effort at trying to attack it that way and not getting anything? You know, I'm not saying abandon the idea altogether, but if you're doing something a certain way and you're not getting the results that you're looking for at what point do you decide that you're going to take your efforts 
refocus them and attack it from a different angle. You know, if you're if you're trying to do word of mouth advertising for your 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 startup business that you're doing, but you don't really have any product out there and you're trying to push your product, whatever your product is, whether it's you know like a podcast or whether you build something or you make something or whatever the case is, um you're trying to get word of mouth advertising out there, but you don't really have your product out there to get any kind of word of mouth. Well, if you've tried that and you've been working on it and you've been trying to keep your budget low, you know, at what point do you decide, okay, I need to refocus this effort that I'm putting towards trying to get this out there to doing it a different way. You know, maybe you do some Facebook marketing maybe you buy some ad space on TikTok or one of the other social media platforms you know you're still putting forth the effort to get that reward you've just kind of refocused it um likewise if you're talking about relationships if you're putting forth the effort in a relationship and you're not getting what you would hope to get out of that relationship you know, at what point do you make the decision that you've exerted more effort than you're getting out of the relationship? Now, keep in mind when, when we speak about relationships, <clears throat> putting effort into a relationship just means that you're investing your time and your energy into making that relationship grow that you're putting your time and energy into that relationship to move it past the you know the early dating stages or or whatever you know the modern dating thing is i haven't dated in quite a while other than my wife but you know you're putting that effort for that you know it may not move along as fast as you hoped but it's moving forward but if you're applying the effort to the relationship aspect, a very healthy piece of advice that I learned early on was you don't get into a relationship with someone with the intent on changing them. You're getting into a relationship with somebody, you're getting into a relationship with them because you like them how they are then, all of them, you know, all the time, that's, that's what you like. You're not trying to get into that relationship to fix them because most times people don't want to be fixed. They, they're okay with how they are. You know, they have to mature and grow at their own pace as well. So when I say putting effort towards a relationship, I'm not saying putting effort towards changing that person. I'm saying putting effort into your relationship to help it grow and to help it bud and, and, and move along the different stages that relationships go through. So that effort is, you know, purely focused on just that aspect, not on changing the person. And then likewise, like I said, if you're, you know, trying to be an entrepreneur, you're putting that effort forward. You know, you have to decide when is, when is, too much effort not getting the getting the correct reward and in the relationship it's the same thing if you're putting forth the effort and say you're you're involved in a relationship with someone and you know you finally got to the point where you're having the the bigger talks you know what what you're both looking for out of your relationship If you're having that talk and the person tells you, look, I'm, you know, I'm not interested in getting married or I'm not interested in having kids and your goals aren't meshing, they're not matching up. At what point do you decide that you're putting too much effort towards that relationship? Are you willing to accept that other person's goals out of a relationship? If you are, then you keep putting forth the effort. If you're not, maybe it's time to consider moving to a different relationship. You know, by no means am I trying to get you to end a relationship or say you should end a relationship because 
anybody that's been in a relationship for an extended period of time, and I'm not picking on those that have got, you know, the one year relationship or the two year relationship, extended a period of time, I'm talking eight, nine, 10 plus years. You know, those are, those are definitely your extended relationships. Any of those individuals are going to tell you that <clears throat> as you move through that relationship, as you go through the different stages in your life, you're going to change, you're going to mature, you're going to grow, you're going to go through a lot of things that, go, that are going to alter the way you see things, alter your actions, alter how you respond to things. Um, you know, just like when you're a kid and you didn't like certain things as a kid, but as you got, as, as you became an adult, all of a sudden you like these things. It's the same thing. It, it, it never stopped. It continues throughout your life, your lifespan. So just because your goals don't mash up, mesh up, is that the end of the relationship? You know, is that the time when you need to stop putting effort into that relationship or if you've talked about it in your goals do line up you both want the marriage you both want the long-term relationship and the kids and and so on and so forth <clears throat> but the other person is a lot slower getting there you know I'm, I'm sure you've probably all seen movies about it somebody's um wanting to you know, get married and they're, when are you going to ask? When are you going to ask? It's been four years and you've never asked, you know, at what point does that person make the determination that they've put all this effort into pushing this relationship forward and they're not getting what they're wanting in return? So they have to make that decision. And it goes back to balance. You know, if, if it's balanced out, you're, you're putting forth the effort and you're getting the reward back that you want, then obviously you want to stay that course. But if you're putting forth the effort and the balance is still all is still off, you know, maybe you want to reconsider, you know, the, the relationship, the advice for the relationship and the business aren't too terribly different. You know, like I said, with business, you may want to change up a marketing idea or something um, in a relationship. Maybe the effort you're putting forward is not the one that's meant to move that relationship forward. So you maybe you need to reconsider what kind of effort you're putting into it. Maybe you need to dial back your effort. Maybe you're pushing too hard in your relationship and it's causing that other person to hit that wall. You know, they're hitting the wall and they don't really want to move forward because you're being pushy for lack of better terms. Um, you know, maybe backing off and exerting less effort will get you more results. You know, who knows? It's it's something that you you alone have to make that decision. You know, by all means, you can reach out to friends and family and, and ask for advice. But ultimately, it's a decision you have to make based off of where you want your life to go, whether it's business, whether it's personal uh, relationship, whatever the case may be. It's a it's an individual decision that you have to ultimately make. You've got to make that decision on when it's time to change your efforts or end them all together. You know, plenty of people have had that that serious discussion in their relationships about marriage and kids and when the other person was you know like nah i'm good like i'm, I'm good i'm i don't want a marriage i don't want you know kids you know there's plenty of people go okay well you know appreciate your honesty i'm out ejecto cedo cuz you know it, it happens it happens and and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that know what you want in life and go for it you know, just because you want it and someone else doesn't, doesn't mean you don't have to have it. it just means you got to find the right one. Um, I mean, likewise with business, if you're trying to move a business idea forward and things aren't working out, there's nothing wrong with, you know, stopping that business venture and moving a different route. There's plenty of entre entrepreneurs out there that will tell you that in starting their business, 
they had more failures than success. More failures than success. There's plenty of them out there. Well, I tried to do this and I tried to do that and I tried to sell this and I tried to market that and you know, I tried writing this or whatever the case is. Plenty of business ventures that, you know, I say failed. Plenty of plenty of business ventures that, you know, were left sitting on the table because they had to go back to the drawing board and do something different. That's okay. You know, you're learning, you're growing. Same with the relationships. You're learning and growing in relationships. So those decisions are personal based off of your goals. You know, you're the only one that can make that determination of when you're putting too much effort towards something and balancing it out with the rewards that you're getting. Now, at what point do you put more effort into something or what should you put more effort into? Again, personal decision. There's, there's no simple way to, there's no simpler way to put it. It's a personal decision. Um, you know, the podcast, you know, I, I have something that I'm passionate about, kind of got out of balance there for a little bit, but it's something I'm passionate about. So I needed to put forth the effort on it. You know, it's a hobby. This is not something I'm doing to try to make money. It'd be nice, um, but that's not the goal of it. But because I do have a passion about it and trying to reach out and trying to help people, I made the decision. I need to put more effort towards it. You know, here we are, you know, picking it right back up, jumping right back into it. The same with my other hobbies. You know, I want to do more with those other hobbies. So I'm going to push that effort. I'm going to put that effort towards those other hobbies. Well, there's other focuses, um, you know, with my family, something that my family started doing how long ago now? But because most of my kids are grown and out of the house and have their own families now, life gets busy. So it gets a lot harder, especially when they don't all live, you know, a couple houses down from you. It gets harder to spend that family time together. And, you know, when you love your family and you want to spend time with your family, you don't want it to be just on the holidays or the special occasions. You know, you, you want to spend more time with your family. So my girls were already kind of putting it into play. And we talked about it as a family and decided to make it a whole family ordeal. But now, once every other weekend, we have a family night where the whole family gets together at one of our houses and we play games we eat, we laugh, we, you know, have a good time. We're just a big family. And we've made a point to put the effort in that direction so that we could keep that closeness. We could keep that, that bond that ties us all together other than just being family. So we were putting more effort towards it. You know, we've got one coming up this Saturday. It's, it's a special occasion, but on top of it, it also is our family night. So we're putting that effort towards it, you know, and it's not always at the same place. It'll be at one kid's house or it'll be at the other kid's house. A lot of times it's, it's here with us and that's okay because we're putting that effort out there. We're making the effort to keep that family bond strong. So you have to make that decision in your life where you want, where and when you want to put more effort to it. You know, do you want your family to be stronger? Do you want your business to be more successful? Do you want your relationship to grow and flourish more than it already is? Um, do you want to get better at a skill? You know, that's something that you have to take into account for what your goals are. You know, like we were talking last week about balance. You know, the balance is going to constantly shift. The priorities of things in your life are, are constantly going to change as you grow and mature and life changes. You've got to figure out which one's going to take the lion's share. The same with the effort. You know, it goes hand in hand with that balance. 
when are you going or when do you decide what's important and put that effort towards it? You've got to make that decision, you know? Using another example from last week when I was talking about how much time I missed with my career or how much time I missed with my family because of my career, you know, now that times have changed and, and life has changed and so many other things have happened, now I'm putting more effort towards the family unit. You know, I'm, I'm making that extra effort now it was important to me. That's something I had to do. You know, is that what everybody has to do? No personal decision. So it's the same for you. It's a personal decision. When, what do you put more effort into? Well, what means the most to you? What means the most, or what is it that you want to see change? That's what you're putting your effort to, you know, and, and effort is not all or nothing. You know, you're not putting a hundred percent of effort into everything. It's going to be spread out. If you're somebody that has a job or a career and a family where well, you're putting effort towards both of those things. It's not always going to be 50, 50, just like with the balance. What, what are you going to put more effort into? What do you want to see out of it? And it may change. Like I said, with early on in the career, more of my time, more of my effort was going to my job. A lot of different variation or very variants in there that made help me make that decision. But it changed, you know, as my situation changed, as my financial situation changed, as my family changed, my efforts started to move more away from work and, and move more towards the family, spending that time with the family. That was that was what I decided to put more effort to. So it, it's on you. It's It's up to you when to do that. Another thing I was asked when, when talking about effort was when are you putting too much effort into someone or something? Well, that ties right back into where we were talking about is the juice worth the squeeze. You're putting too much time into someone or something when you're not getting the result that you wanted. Plain and simple. When you're not getting the result that you wanted, that's when you're putting too much effort into it. You know, does it mean you need to stop putting effort in altogether? I don't know. What do you want? Is there a chance by altering how much effort you're putting into it is going to change the outcome? Is going to get you the results that you want? You know, the old less is more kind of thing. I can't answer that. And I can't answer it just because, again, it's personal. You have to make the decision on when too much is too much. When you're putting more effort into something. You know, I hate to move back to the relationship aspect of it. But if you and someone in your relationship were talking and you decided, you know what, we need to you know, put more effort into us. So you change, I say you change. So you start putting more effort in, you know, you're, you're not going in and work as much. You're not focusing on this, that, and the other as much. And you're focusing more on you and, and the person that you're in the relationship with, but yet nothing's changing. You know, the other person is still doing the exact same thing and nothing's changing. Is it, is the juice worth the squeeze, you know? Do you need to alter how you approach it? Or do you need to cut bait and run? Find something else. Depends. Depends on what your goal is. You know, if you can live with the way things are, so be it. You know, if you if you're okay with settling, then keep doing what you're doing. If you want more and you're not getting more, maybe it's time to have another tough conversation. You know, when it comes to a relationship, maybe it's time to have another tough conversation. Hey, what's what's going to change? You know, putting all this effort out there, 
and it could be a simple misunderstanding. You don't know. You won't know until you you find out, till you, till you ask the questions, you know? And it's the same with business. Business is no different, you know? If you're not getting the result and you've altered your efforts, you've put more effort in, you've taken effort away, you've devoted more stuff to it, and you're not, still not getting the result you want, well, is it time to cut bait and run? That's that's on you. All you can do is try. Put forth your effort on what's important in your life. Put your effort, your time, your energy, your money, put those things towards what you want to see grow. If you're if you're you know in the gardening business or you know do anything with plant life. Um, I kind of got black thumbs, so I don't do that. But I know enough about it that if your if your vegetation isn't growing, if your crop isn't growing, if your flowers aren't growing, maybe you need to add more fertilizer. Maybe you need to add a little more water. Maybe you need to trim some things back. I don't know. But you're putting that effort to it. So... There you go, effort. It's literally just the time, energy, and resources that you're going to spend on something. So what is your effort going to? What are your goals? Is the effort you're putting towards these goals yielding the results that you're looking for? If they are, keep doing what you're doing. You're being successful. If they're not, maybe it's time to strategize and figure out a different plan of attack. You know, how are you going to approach whatever it is and get the result you want? You know, are you exerting too much effort and it's, you know, flooding everything to keep it from growing? You know, are you not putting enough in? Have you put in to the point where you can't put in anymore and it's time to cut bait? You have to make the decision. Simple as that. And if you're still confused, the only thing I can do is ask you to reach out. Reach out to a family, reach out, reach out to your family, reach out to a friend, reach out to me. I would love to hear more from you guys. You know, I have no problem coming on and, and you know, trying to give more clarification. You know, often enough, when I do get suggestions about items to, or topics to talk about or requests about things to talk about, often enough, it's kind of a blanket. You know, it's kind of a, hey, I want to hear about this. Well, that's great if I'm having a conversation with you. That works out phenomenal if I'm having a conversation with you because now I can dig deeper into what you're trying to get to. What are you wanting to gain from the conversation? A little difficult when it's just me. So by all means, reach out. You know, we can we can have you on as a guest. We can, you know, entertain your emails, whatever the case may be, reach out. You know, I've got no problem trying to expand further on these items or these topics. So there you go, guys. Short, sweet, not so to the point, but effort. Figure it out, figure out your goals, and then start putting that effort towards it. Okay? Until next time, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you being here with us. And, uh, We'll see you on the next one. Be safe.